But to me, the biggest change in China since I went there in 1993 and I started to live there, the biggest change is the confidence that now exists in China. And I, I use confidence specifically, not arrogance. They are very confident. They are very confident. Just imagine how our countries would be if we had had 40 years continuously of competent government and growth. The Chinese have had that. And so now, I think you can see it most obviously in the younger people. And it's, pay attention to the Olympics. When the Chinese athletes get up now and they've won a gold medal, they're answering interview questions in English. They're very confident about who they are. The reason why China is dominating so many areas of business and critical minerals, it's not an accident. They didn't stumble upon it. They planned for it. They worked for it and now they've achieved it. And they will continue to do that because that's how they operate. That's how their government operates. That's how it gets its legitimacy. I know it doesn't have an election every three years and make all kinds of promises that it doesn't deliver. But what they do do is say what they're going to do every year. They have five-year plans. They report against what they do, whether they've succeeded or not. And they get judged by that. So there's a massive level of competence. If you are a leader, a name leader in China, you are the equivalent of an Olympic gold medal winner in a sport because that's how much better that a normal person you are. A Chinese leader is much, much better yeah, yeah. than any normal person or any normal Western leader wow. because they have worked and they have achieved they and they've been tested. Because they were the best in their cohort. And they deliver. They constantly assessed and if they deliver, they go up. If they don't deliver, they don't go up. But that's, the, that, that's the surprise. I mean, my, my advice to everybody is get on the plane and go to Shanghai. Just go there and then get off the plane and go to a hotel and look around. And, and then you will be surprised. And when I read headlines, as I think I read in the FT in the last few days, about China is going to challenge America's dominance in AI, which of course carries most of the S&P 500 stock market valuation, I should take that serious. Oh, I think it's absolutely serious. But do I think they will be better? at actually doing AI and using it, they will absolutely be better. They will, and, and they'll be the same in AI. Right. Look at the numbers for STEM graduates. They have more STEM graduates than the rest of the world combined. They, win. And win if they haven't already won, it, back to what I said, 40 years of competent government executing a plan and delivering growth and an improved outcome for the people. That's what they do. If we did that, we could compete with them. But I don't want to bet my money no. on us doing that because we've no, there's nothing to suggest we can.